Okay, so we live with from Tragic Studios in Cleveland. I got the Emmys in the background behind me. I got producer Mikey in the building. Mikey, what's next on your list? Are you looking at your list, Mikey? Yeah, we got Kirk Flank, uh, Kirk Franklin's son. Did you say Kirk Franklin? Kirk Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike's assistant. Mess up the so words. Thinking about flanking him. <laughs> okay. Oh, coming in from the side, Powers. <laughs> Don't do too hey, much, Mike. Oh. from the side. What from the side? Blanket. Listen, pause on everything that just happened. So, Kirk Franklin's famous for his monster hit, Stomp. But I know one person he might want to literally act the song title out on, and that's his son, Carry On. Carry On Franklin, his strange son of gospel superstar Kirk Franklin, has reportedly been arrested and held without bond after he was stopped while allegedly driving a car belonging to a woman who was reported missing and presumed dead. Oh. Driving a lady's car, a stolen car, and the lady is presumed dead. Now, we know that back a few years ago, I think it was, Kirk Franklin had a problem with his son. His son was on a reality show and he came out as bisexual or some shit. And then he, he started trying to drag Kirk Franklin. And then it's a recording of Kirk Franklin dogging the shit out of his son. When dope bitch ass starts hearing the shit and then just the sex of the women that get so skinny motherfucking ass back out the goddamn way before I put my foot in your ass. Because I, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Shut the fuck up. I'm old. I'm your old kid. I'm your old kid. I'm your old kid. I'm you can you can cut me out if you want, but uh, the no. Listen, he'll tell you he'll cut you out, but he won't. Be warned. Give the him the weapon. disclaimer. <laughs> the weapon. The, what? the weapon was also in the car. The weapon was on. No, I don't need to cut you out for that. That's good info. Wait, the, the murder weapon was in the Not car. The murder weapon. He had a gun in the car, but it was. We don't. We don't. We don't oh, know okay. how this lady died. We. I don't think they found the body. But what's going on with Kirk Franklin's son? Kirk Franklin. Supposed to be with Jesus, and he got his son out here riding around in a hot whip of a presumably dead lady's car. Did anybody do any more research on this besides reading the headline that I sent to y'all in your email? You know, pastors' daughters be freaky. <sighs> Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, please. Let me stop. I can only imagine the pressure that little Kurt, Kurt Kirkio was his name his again? Name, his name Carry On. Carry On. He called a nigga little Kurt. Carry On. You gave him a bisexual name. What the fuck? Whoa. Is there such thing you as a bisexual name? Carry On don't sound like a bi nigga to you, Mike? No comment. <laughs> Carry on don't sound like he suck a little bit of anyways. I'm just saying it must no, have been not about hard. to get me fucked up with the capital G Mafia. Are you a Kirk Franklin fan, anybody? Nah. Y'all not fucking helping me out at all, but thank you. Let, what's, Mikey, what's next on the list? <laughs> What's the gun his? That's oh, all I want to do. And they, have they even found the woman dead? I have t I have tons of questions. I, I don't yeah, have I have more questions than takes. Y'all right. niggas do y'all don't be reading when I send y'all the notes. Do I do. I have questions, but you were asking for answers. We don't got the fucking answers. But you ain't got the answers, Sway. We Mike, don't know what fucking what Carry On was doing. Mikey, you, so uh, is the bitch in the trunk? What you, got, you know Mikey? what I'm saying? What you got in he there, Mikey? He bought the car from the bitch that's dead. That's who he bought the car from. Now she a bitch? It says carry on. Maybe. I don't fucking know her. Did you, did you know her? <laughs> but, I mean, he killed her, so she must have she must have done something. <laughs> I'm keeping my mind hot. I really do aim to live a righteous life. All of this is unnecessary. I just want you guys to keep me in your prayers, said carry on, according to Reed. That part I do. <laughs> carry on. Like, and you trying to and Mikey, I appreciate you trying to say these motherfuckers because they didn't do no fucking work. There's, what? One, there's one more thing. I Don't tell me I didn't do no work. I want work. you to know this nigga's whole life story. When it comes to the alleged murder victim, Carrie Ann believes she isn't dead. I don't think that's true because I've met the woman who sold me the car. He stated. I don't know he knows her. He <laughs> bought the car he, from her. I just he said claims, that. Yeah, he claims he owned the car for over a year. I'm glad you said that because that was I read that and it wasn't in my notes. Why is Beans giving me the fucking double barrel fucking middle finger? Because I just told just you what he just, what he just read. read. Oh. 
Well, that... Yo, Mike got a vendetta <laughs> against me right now. I see he he's caught the fucking everybody hates beans bug. That's I love you to death. I, I don't. I really. I'm not. What's next on the list though? Goat Shout testicles. out Mikey in the clutch. Goat testicles. That's nah. that's that's next on his list. Listen, I'm gonna read this joint right here. Y'all ready for this? Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> the world the, the con world is full of I forgot what website I got this off of but the con world is full of wellness claims that rarely stand up to scrutiny even by those standards John Brinkley who was awarded his medical degree by a disreputable diploma mill was one of a kind his methodology mm. his methodology for restoring virility in men <laughs> it took more from science fiction than modern science so what he did was his absurd treatment was <laughs> if you if you was impotent, then he would charge you between no, he charged you seven hundred fifty dollars to uh, put goat testicles in your body. So he's so go <laughs> what? Wait a minute, let me read this. Brinkley's absurd treatment seduced plenty of patients seeking remedy for such issues, paying the Kansas City resident as much as $750, which would be over $10,000 in today's money, to insert goat genitals. He became a media star with his own radio station that hyped his procedure and a self-congratulatory book called The Life of a Man. Brinkley was also a Nazi sympathizer. That should come as no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> he had a, he had swastikas added to a swimming pool, but it was all a scam. He was saying Brinkley pushed a procedure in which he implanted goat testicles into humans while insisting the surgery cured impotence, infertility, and even excessive flatulence. <laughs> it's all true. Yo, so when hold he fights a on, lot, don't don't change up on. your diet. Let me First get some all, goat balls up in you. How motherfucking stupid do you have to fucking be to agree to that shit? I just want to know. Let me just get this whole thought out real quick. Let's just do the science real fast. Okay. It's going to cure impotence and uh, what's the second shit you said? Flatulence. Flatulence. No, no, no. Not flatulence. And uh, infertility. So once you get these goat nuts, you'll be able to produce a baby. What kind of fucking baby? Some strong ass babies. It's that oh, horny fuck, goat. You're gonna produce a fucking goat person. You ever it's... seen that? You, you, you ever seen the goat eat an aluminum can? Yo. Yo, what kind of? Get, if I don't get, Is that where wait, that wait. mythical animal came from? What the half goat, half human shit? Maybe it's not half goat. Or whatever the ass end is, like a horse or something, right? What the fuck are them things called? Centaurs. Wait, centaurs. centaurs. Yeah, maybe it's an actual thing, but it's fucking goat. Put me on Jeopardy. Are, I just got that answer right are, now. Horny goat weed. Listen, I just want to know one thing, Mike. Yeah. How does this show get these kind of <laughs> fucking crazy stories, bro? Somebody put this it's shit in Mike my... Powers show. Right. I don't. Somebody says to put it in my mailbox, and next thing you know, I was like, maybe we should talk about the guy that implanted goat testicles in people. Uh, whoever gave no, you that story. No. He was googling goat balls, and that came up. <laughs> what's, what's the what's the wackiest besides goat testicles being imposed? What's the wackiest medical procedure y'all ever heard that happened in real life? Getting your dick turned oh, into a pussy. Oh, 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 wait, 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 beans. What? Getting what? your dick turned into a pussy. You better watch out for that nigga that came after Dave Chappelle, beans. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm I'm petrified to see what that looks like. Wait, you could turn a, you could wait turn your penis into a coochie. That what you said. What you think of sex changes, Mike? I know but you got to chop the joint off and then make a hole. Am I right? No, they invert nah, they it. Off. They, they, they cut it down the middle like a franken and turn it and inside out. And then turn it inside. I really didn't need to hear that. <laughs> that didn't, that didn't so, benefit me one bit. You, you, you asked about I it. I think we beat the blue waffle. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> you said a medical procedure. What else is there? Because I mean, this down the fucking middle like a Nathan's. How do I know? Listen, maybe somebody has actually sewed balls on their chin, like what? fucking Butters did in South Park. 
I, do li- people really get their assholes bleached? Is that like a real thing? Oh yeah, but listen, I want to do it now. My homegirl, she be getting that shit done, and I seen it. Not hers, what? but I, I seen bleached buttholes pretty. You she look in the brown eye in the eye. You try to clean it up. She's like, I seen it. You seen it? <laughs> not hers. Not not hers. I could have seen hers, but that's that's my bitch. Like, I'm okay. honest. I'm, you know what? I'm not coming. Is that some ladies that. would do though? Like it like if good. you just came from getting a fresh wax, would you be like, hey girl, look at? It. I don't need to be bleached. I'm moving on. I don't need to be bleached. I mean, (laughs) I'm going to roll up. Hold on, hold on. This is vital information. You're going to get it bleached, Beans? I I, I don't care about bleached buttholes, bro. I I don't care. I I look, you you know how I used to always joke about that, though? Like how I tag my my Instagram stories with like the butthole bleaching. But you ain't got to pay a medical, bro. I will come, Beans, I will come over there and I will hit you with the Oxy. I put the Oxy in a spray bottle. You know what I mean? I mean, so what what if I'm afflicted with flatulence? Are you gonna jam some goat balls in me? Listen, and also, do you know the green fucking um it's not a sponge, but it looked like you have to clean right off the <laughs> a Brillo pad? No, not the but it's like square, the green one that get all the right? Do that. Oxy in your ass and a little wax Ooh, on, wax off. That tear it all up. Hell no. I'd rather bleach it. Okay. Um Mikey, I, help us out. <laughs> Mikey, what's next? Whack 100. Whack 100. Listen, I'm going. Let me go. And then I'm going to go in order. Okay. So, I don't know much about Whack 100. And what's going to happen is everything I'm going to say right now is going to be a double-edged sword, right? Because if he see it, he's going to threaten me because he threatened everybody, right? Right? And that means I'm actually famous. And then if he don't threaten me, that means he don't see it. So, I'm safe. Right, so let's talk about whack fucking 100. So we know about whack 100 first because he beat up the guy Stitches. Remember that shit? Nobody remembers whack 100 beat the fuck out of Stitches. Stitches is irrelevant. Now we talking about what's going on now. First of all, he been dogging Nipsey Hussle. First he said Nipsey wasn't a legend. Can you say that? And on Tuesday, April 19th, podcast host Hassan Campbell, shout to Hassan Campbell, played a recording of the veteran music manager, talk about WAC 100, discussing a sex tape alleging, allegedly involving the late Nipsey Hussle, another man, and the mother of Nip's son, Lauren London. Campbell said he only knows about the tape because he overheard Nipsey's former manager, Big U, and WAC 100 speaking about it. On a three-way call, they didn't realize he was on. First of all, how is Hassan Campbell on a three-way call with two dudes and they don't know he's on the call? What is y'all doing on y'all phones, man? Is you Okay, I'm just leaving it at that. He also alleged Big U and WAC 100 tried to use the tape to extort London for 30% of Nip's estate. In the recording, WAC 100 talked about how Nipsey was fucking with a nigga and claimed he was saving his career. He added, yeah, he paid a nigga to fuck his baby mama with him. This is what Hassan says he heard on the phone come out of Wack 100's mouth. Wack 100 also said something about the Kim Kardashian sex tape, right? He got his foot and hand in so many people's business. Then he said, and we can take this one by one. He talked yeah. about Master P not having no money. He said P doesn't have 20% of Nick Cannon's wealth. First of all, he don't own his masters. They took them 18 years ago. Referring to the No, Lim- no Limit Records catalog being sold as part of his t- 2003 bankruptcy filing. Why are you counting another man's pockets? Where they do that? I don't know that Master P said shit about Wack 100. I just know that Wack all of a sudden then said P ain't got bread like that. And this you compare P bread to another nigga bread. Why would you do that? What's going on? Anybody? Real quick, real quick. Which which of this stuff that Wack said is from Hassan, and then which shit is actual like Hassan stuff? Have it is her is from. Um, is talking about That's and the sex tape. This is what Hassan said he heard on the phone. Master P shit is some shit that Wax said online. Himself. He said okay. it online. Yeah. Yeah. The Nipsey sex tape shit sound mad weird, and I don't trust that because that's from another nigga about another nigga who said he heard some shit on a three-way call that he shouldn't have been on. That's us. I'm gonna just let that one go out the window. 
Mm-hmm. This shit Wax said about P, it might be right. Who knows? Master P is doing a whole lot of cereal box and fucking debt relief plan commercials and advertisements right now. Who knows? But he still got the illusion of love, so keep that up. Uh, what was the other shit that he said that he was getting at again? Somebody else wasn't getting money neither? Um, no, he was just talking. He was comparing P's money to, to Nick Cannon's oh, money. Oh, no, no. That Nip, that Nip, about Nipsey being a legend. Nipsey not being a legend. Is this is this a harsh is this a harsh take? Do I be the one to fall on the sword and say that a lot of people jumped on Nip's dick after he passed and a lot of people wasn't banging his music and maybe liked his interviews and his look, but wasn't really on the movement? Right. Do do we say that like Nip would have was on the road to being a legend period because of what he was doing and, and who he was becoming, but maybe he hadn't established it. If if we're gonna say like Hove is a legend, right? And then we could look at the track record of how many albums sold, how many blah blah blahs. Then we gotta we gotta put tears to it, right? So in that sense, I get what Wack is saying, and I don't know if he meant it as disrespect or just being honest that a lot of people in his passing put him at a higher level. I think that happened soon after Nipsey died, and I think if you want to come out and give a take and say that this man is not a legend, you might want to wait a year before you just have... I don't need to jump in and tell everybody that Nipsey is not a legend because the dude died... What do you like? Um, you want to say he got a clean discharge? He got an honorable discharge when he left this earth. He was in good standing in the hip hop community. He was doing good work in L.A. He was certainly legendary in L.A. Yes. Beans, because you out there, beans. Talk to me. That's that. That's exactly what I wanted to say about that because um, I wasn't a huge Nipsey fan musically. You know what I'm saying? I did like some of his shit. Um, I didn't play him a lot and stuff like that. Uh, I do believe that is indeed a fact for just about everybody who passes. They're not glorified and put on this other level until they die. But out here, when I tell you he is certainly a legend and you can't question that because he is. And I wasn't hip to what he was really doing for the community out here until he passed. And uh, my tattoo artist, rest in peace, he was one of his protégés. So I knew about a lot of the good deeds he did firsthand from people. Um, so that makes him a legend in himself for what he did for the community. Uh, and I don't know who the fuck WAC 100 is. I don't care about him. Um, but his name is WAC 100, Dude, so it doesn't surprise me. I thought me. we talked about if we're going to have a guest on the set, you would let us know before. This motherfucker just, she makes herself known. She don't need no introduction. What's her name? Pussy just crawling across his his lap. That's Black right. That's how I knew. He's a he's a manager. Yeah. I didn't know him. Is he like a gang banger, like uh, or like a blood or a crip or something? I'm hearing that he's connected on the blood side. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. So, so let's, yeah. let's do this. Because every time like I, I say, hear he about game. Dude, every time so I hear about this Black One Hundred, he involved in some gossip shit, which is so <laughs> not gangster. What the fuck is going on right now? All right. You know, he's doing interviews with, with, with the biggest snitch on earth, Takashi 69, and they they you know going back and forth. Why? Why do you even need to talk to that dude? He's a bona fide snitch. So if you're a gangster, a snitch is not the person you want to be hobnobbing with. The fuck is going on right now? Yeah, he's making a lot of news on fucking Clubhouse. What the fuck is these niggas doing on Clubhouse? I was gonna say people, people still, still on Clubhouse? Clubhouse? People still Bruh. go to Clubhouse? I was listen. I went on club. I that died with COVID. One, I went. I went. I was on there for three minutes one day, and I heard a whole bunch of dudes that sound like a whole bunch of bitches. And let me I, tell I you, never. Let me tell you what, what that shit is. Y'all remember the, with Mike, a Mike? You remember the motherfucking the, the phone party line shit niggas used to be on oh, the party line. That's that's what motherfucking clubhouse is. Yeah, it's the party line, and whoever exactly. got the biggest mouth got the center of the floor. I hate that okay. shit. It's garbage. And it's a whole bunch of people sitting around waiting for two people that's kind of famous to start beefing with each other. And it's all, listen, as black people, you know, as black people, ain't we so good at showing our ass and letting everybody know that we hate one another? Don't we do that so fucking well? We just want to, we're going to call somebody to fuck out. Now, this is an entertainment show. So I got to talk some shit in order to get some motherfucking clicks, okay? It's all in good fun. Everybody know I ain't got no beef with them. But y'all niggas going on Clubhouse having real conversations in front of 4,000 fucking people, 
right? And then what? Whack got into it with who's the nigga with the? He got. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one is right, my nigga? With the listen, he light skin though, one. not the dark skin, not the gremlin guy, the other one, not the, the Twenty One Savage. Was it that guy? He's on, he's on fucking Clubhouse going at it with that guy, uh, like a kid, like the the kid. Wack is like fifty four or something like that. You know what I mean? Like he live on fucking Clubhouse. He love the fucking attention, and I guess. <laughs> I can't dog his plan because maybe it's all about the bag. Kim Kardashian set her family on a pace to become billionaires from sucking a d Well, listen, sex will always sell. That's what that's about. Everybody got a different way of trying to get that bag, and maybe this is the way way of getting the bag. I'm going to stick up for Kim K real quick, and I'm 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 going to fall on this story. Because I like her quote. I do. A lot of people didn't, but I like her quote. Because here's the thing. Yes, she sucked on camera, and I got like one foot in the door. You don't get to a billion dollars from a sex tape that's twenty years old, because Pam Anderson certainly didn't do it, and neither did Tommy Lee. That bitch fucking works, and put some respect on her fucking name, because one, she fucking works, and then two, she really did just jux the illest rapper that we've had in the game and play that nigga like a fool, and she probably gonna get pregnant with this Pete Davidson nigga baby. So just get ready for him to get that next initial tattooed on his neck. I'm about to do what Beans did. Get, get ready shit. for him to get that next initial tattooed on his neck. <laughs> do you think? Okay, so you say she didn't get all the way to a Billy from the fucking dick sucking. Okay, let's 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 examine that for a minute. So, do you think you would have got to where she got to doing the same shit she did, looking like you look? No. What I'm saying is this, bro. Looks aside and the tape aside, to get to a Billy level, that bitch show up for work every fucking day on time. That bitch make the deals happen. She command her fucking value. And the shit that she do push product. And it move people. And it influence people. But it started with her not, being Y'all might not be in that army of people or that see or that follow the vision, but it's millions that fucking do. Stupid ass people. 74 million voted for Trump. No, 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 no. Mike, no. Mike, Mike. You're not, no, no. Because when people listen to us and they listen to our show and they like what the fuck we do and there's somebody who don't get it, they not gonna call our fans fucking stupid because they don't understand the world that we got. They don't speak the language that we got. I don't you know listen, what I'm saying? Like, I don't proclaim I don't proclaim to call them stupid. What I proclaim to call Kim Kardashian is a no talent having Okay, that's what she is. She's a fucking listen, slur. Listen, listen, listen. Mike, 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 I'll put it to you like this. Let's talk pimp talk, right? If these is all whores on the block, some whores end up having their own stable of bitches and some whores end up sucking dick for, for the rest of their life. And you tell the difference from the fucking work ethic. That's the bitch that went out and maybe sucked dick on the corner and then left her fucking pimp Ray J and didn't stay Ray J's like bottom whore. And now she got a stable of bitches and put her fucking family on. You understand that? You I understand it like that? She was a fantastic She was a fantastic That's exactly how she became Hold on, hold on. If, if y'all want to put it in, in, in like order... Okay, first she made the sex tape. Then they With had a, a reality on. show. Can we really call that a sex tape? You feel what I'm saying? And the reality show pushed everything else because you know reality show shit puts you in front of millions. Exactly. Don't forget who her father was. Right. Robert Kardashian, the lawyer. And then ain't, ain't Bruce Jenner in there somewhere? Yeah. Bruce Jenner came along right. later, Bruce and that's Jenner another Jenner thing they do. Jenner. They destroy fucking men, right? That part. And that's what. Listen, listen. It, it, when the history books is told, I, I like when sometimes I'm the young like voice and I'm like in opposition and everybody gang up on me. I don't I like mind that. the heat. Yeah, I don't I mind like the heat. Because when the history books is told, you know who she is? She's fucking Cleopatra. Rolled up in a fucking blanket, unveiling herself in front of, uh, you know what I mean? The, and, and running game on. No, Cleopatra is a famous whore, if you put it like that. Damn, look, listen, I cannot do this. Show. No, listen, she, Cle- no, no, because if you put it like that, Cleopatra fucked all the kings of Egypt. I mean, uh, from Egypt, she fucked all the kings and leaders of Rome in order to keep them from taking over Egypt. And she ran game and ran through all them niggas and blew all them niggas' wigs and took all them niggas' money. I'm not I'm even mad at her like, name. I'm just gonna call her where she is. But what I'm saying is, nah, because like, I'm not gonna. I'm not. Listen, I'm riding for the women here. 
I'm right, especially on a day where they like made abortion illegal. I'm riding for the women. Okay, if you, if you talk about is what it is, we don't slut shame over here and we don't whore shame. What's the girl name? The young one that's with the boy Travis. Oh my God, fucking oh. uh. Oh. Young Kylie. She's a Jenner. Oh. Yeah, Kylie. Let me just say this. Do she's they say she's not worth a billion. Do you think she gets to a billion dollar without Kim Kardashian sucking Ray J's? No, they all got there from that. They all did. One, shout out to somebody taking a suck as far as it could go, because Lewinsky sucked the president and didn't get that far. Right? But it made Bill Clinton, I, I respect man. her game. I respect the game. That's fine. If she was able to find, especially a guy like Wiz Khalifa, like, first of all, Wiz Khalifa with the, what was it, Kanye first with the Amber Rose, right? And then here come Wiz. Wiz, what the fuck you doing? Weirdo ass nigga. And I like the nigga music, a lot of it. And then, what did he turn right back around and do? Then Kanye leaves one fuck. He may, listen, look, Amber Rose, her 15 minutes, poof, was almost over. And here come this Captain save a Let's not talk about slut shaming. Let's talk about when a nigga made the record and he called it what it was. Captain save a Right? Mm -hmm. And he saved that and gave her another fucking 12 fucking years of fucking fame. And then she fucked him over. And what is this dumb mother... What does Donda's fucking son do? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm saying it like that. Donda. Because you know better, boy. Your mama taught you. You go to that. The Romanian witch. I mean, the soul sucker. You done gave this all oh, kind of sucker. fucking baby. You done set this bitch up for life. Suck. Listen, set her up for life and all, and did what they do. They done got Lamar Odom, got him strung out in the fucking whorehouse on crack, right? They 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 done fucking Bruce Jenner, <laughs> the Catholic. <laughs> They don't even want to be a Bruce no, no more. How, how, how y'all ruin a whole man? Like, how y'all ruin a family guy? Ruin a whole man. What the fuck was popping as your boy Mike when I was like, I was the intro king. It's the hours. The almighty. The best in the fucking game.